So in one of my projects, I noticed the interactors and the repositories were basically the same. And I was thinking, is this right? Is this wrong? Why might it be? So that's what this video is about. So in this video, I want to look at two things. This diagram, which shows the interactor in between the entity and the repository, and also this project, which is kind of a real life working of a music project. And you can look at the whole project in the repository, but hopefully there's nothing too surprising here. There's a search flow of separated out screen factory, all this type of thing. Um, I've created a view controller programmatically and it's got a collection view and you can search the artists or albums using it as the user. And then we have our view model. So our view model is getting the data, but it's getting it from in an interactor. So here, there are a couple of functions that it calls get search album and get search results. So we are getting back information through the interactor. So let's have a look at the interactor. Of course, it's not making that API call. So what's it actually doing? Get search results. Well, it's doing something quite complicated here. Search results is getting the albums, the tracks, and the artist, and combining them all. So what does the repository do? Well, the repository is calling the API and then returning the result. And of course, the API itself is making that call from, say, something like this URL. So why would we have the interactor separate from the repository? In lots of parts of this project, they're doing the same thing, kind of you're just passing the data on. But this particular interactor for the search shows we're doing something more complicated. We're combining these calls from the repository, which is abstracted from the API. Where would this go if we didn't have the interactor? Well, kind of, you'd have to put it into the search view model, which is hmm, fine, but it's not reusable, and you're starting to build up a rather large view model here, because I just want the view model to prepare the data for the view controller. The interactor is doing this work with the data that feels like it kind of doesn't belong here. Now bear in mind, in the project I've created, there are quite a few interactors, repositories, which are almost the same. This is a good example where it's a slightly larger place. So this is a classic case of it depends. Even in the case of my project, some instances seem to demand an interactor, others don't. And yet for consistency in that project, I've used them all the way through. Would I use them in another project? It depends on the project. I think it's particularly nice to understand why you might have interactors and what you might use them for. Anyway, I hope this video has helped to you and perhaps I'll see you next time.